Hello, everyone. This is Denise Hansard, your life architect and intuitive geek, and welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom Bomb. So I'm going to kind of catapult off of what we talked about last week on your strengths, and this is about what you've done to have achieve, achievements and successes. It's like embracing your wins, and I want you to keep a brag book, <laughs> and I'll tell you what that's about. Um, this brag book is your personal cheerleading squad. Yeah, that person inside of you that remembers what you've done before in order to move forward again. It's a way to give yourself that high five, you know, for the times that you succeeded and you faced a challenge and you got through it. And knowing how you got through it is really key because as you keep track of the past victories that you've had, Again, it's like having someone right beside you going, look, look at all the awesome things that you've done and pulled off. How fabulous is that? So again, you're flipping through that story that you have, but now you have a book which has written down everything that you've achieved, not just in this past year, but in your lifetime. Think about what you've gone through in this journey to become the person that you are today. It's like flipping through that brag book of achievements when you need a pick me up. And I'm gonna tell you, it works each and every time. And they're going to be many times when you have to pull it out and say, wow, I did that. I can remember when I first started um, as an entrepreneur, it felt as if at times I had not achieved anything. And then my dear friend kept reminding me of everything I had achieved. I started a business. I published a book. I have clients. I spoke on stage, blah, 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 everything along those lines. And yet I couldn't see it. And so when we started talking about it, she helped me to see that if I wrote things down, which I tell my clients, but I don't always do, uh, will help keep me on track because it's not just going down memory lane. It's that reminder that, you know what? Yeah, I did this. I rocked it. And you can rock it too. That's what you want to do. Now, the brag book, that's what I want to tell you about. I mean, it's not about being boastful. And who cares if you are? It's only yours. I mean, it's about recognizing your skills, your talents, that, you know, you rocked it. It's not just random events that keep you growing and succeeded and succeeding, sorry. They're a showcase of everything that you've done, your strengths, your strategies, that shift in your mindset to keep going. So keep a brag book. One of the things if you're in corporate that I'm going to tell you to do, if you keep one just specific for every project you've worked on, every email that was sent your way saying, great job, this is it. When it comes time for that annual review saying what you've done, all you got to do is pull it out. That's it. And I'm going to say, personally, you can do the same thing. It's just a great way to understand how resilient you are, what you have accomplished in your life. So no matter what comes your way, pull out your brag book. You can see your successes. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.